Reflecting the spirit of a country undergoing monumental change, this collection of Russian and Soviet porcelain is remarkable in several respects. It's diverse, it's educational, and it's also a lot of fun. This figure group was produced at the Gardner Manufactory in the late 19th century and is modeled after one of the more unpleasant aspects of peasant life. We see a young mother having lice combed out of her hair. With the soft colors and serene faces, the designer has taken a romanticized view of peasant life, suggesting that having lice combed out of one's hair may not have been so awful compared with the increasing industrialization of the late 19th century. Many of the figures celebrate Russian achievement in the arts. This figure, produced at the State Porcelain Manufactory in what was then Petrograd in 1921, is modeled as the ballerina Tamara Karsavina in the title role of Stravinsky's The Firebird. She's wearing a costume designed by Leon Baxt for the 1910 season of the Imperial Ballet. The Firebird was her most famous role, and this model of her, designed by Dmitry Ivanov, has become iconic. Playing the role of Prince Ivan in The Firebird was Michel Fokin, seen here in a model also designed by Ivanov but produced later in the mid-1950s, attesting to the continued popularity of these figures. Fokin was in love with Tamara Karsavina and proposed marriage. She declined, but her refusal seems not to have affected their professional relationship as they continued working together in Paris at the Ballet Russe. This large figural group, also designed by Danko and produced at the State Porcelain Manufactory, celebrates a remarkable Soviet achievement. North Pole 1 was the first Soviet manned drifting station and was the first successful expedition of its kind in the world. The station was under the command of Ivan Papanin. For 234 days, Papanin's team carried out a wide range of scientific experiments and observations. On the 19th of February, 1938, two Soviet icebreakers arrived to bring them home. This figural group is modeled after the photographs taken that day by photojournalist Yakov Kalip, who arrived with the icebreakers. The explorers returned to Leningrad on the 15th of March and were each awarded the title Hero of the Soviet Union. What's surprising about the collection is the number of large presentation vases from the Soviet period. This vase was produced at the State Porcelain Factory in 1965 to commemorate the 250th anniversary of the founding of Leningrad and is therefore painted with Falconet's monument to the city's founder, Peter the Great. This vase was given to Soviet Premier Leonid Brezhnev. These objects are just some of the many things in this collection which have interesting stories to tell. The pre-sale exhibition, starting on Friday the 30th of May, is a great opportunity to discover the stories and histories of this important and wide-ranging collection.